and welcome back to my channel. So I am here in Great Yarmouth with my grandparents and we are staying here for four nights. So today I thought I'd be giving you a room tour. So we are staying in the Premier Room in Great Yarmouth and we are room 214. So before we get started, please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below and hit the bell. So other than that, let's get started. Hello, welcome to our, to our hotel room at the Premier Inn in Great Yarmouth. Thank you, Grandma. Say hello, Grandpa. Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> hello. All right, so I'm going to start the room tour, you guys. So as you walk in, you actually have a place to put your key card. Now, we got given two key cards, so me and my grandma are sort of sharing one. Um, my grandpa's kind of the master, aren't you, Grandpa? Yes. So he's got the full card. We've also got a light switch here. So we also got given three hooks. So on this hook is just all of my hoodies. I think there's four on there or maybe five, I'm not sure. And then here is some other jackets and things. And then here I have my denim jacket, my beach bag and my handbags for going out in the evening. And down here we have all of our shoes. We have some of my grandma's shoes and some of my shoes as well. And then this is my grandma and grandpa's suitcase. It's very big, but they did a shared suitcase. So that's got everything there and then here we have like a vanity area so this is where i'll do my makeup in the evening it actually has a light so switches on really good that um this is my makeup bag my jewelry bag we also got given a hair dryer which is really good so that's quite a good nice makeup space for the evening okay moving on to this bit so we have a full-blown mirror here it's really tall which i really like you can see what you how you look in the morning and then we also have a little drawer. Now, let's just say the wardrobe isn't that big, but we will have to get along with that. But this drawer is dedicated to me. So in here are all of my clothes. So I have shorts, leggings, jeans, because the weather's going to be a bit mismatched. Um, underwear, dresses, socks, everything that you need for a fortnight stay. And then up here we have some, my, some of my grandparents' clothes. So a mix match again. We have some hanging shirts here and trousers for my grandpa. And then, of course, we had to bring some snacks. So we may have gone a bit over the top, haven't we? Yes. We yeah, have indeed. <laughs> um, so, snack galore. Wow. So I'll just quickly tell you what there is. So we've got three sets of Pringles, smoky bacon, cheese and onion and plain. We've got some Oreo bites, some white chocolate buttons, some regular M&M's, got some Haribo's, this shortbread which is left over from lunch. We also have some mini lemon meringues and some galaxy chocolate chunk cookies. We have some Moen Pimbles, Maryland cookies. We have two types of Oreos, golden and original. Party rings, Lotus biscuits and some angel cakes. So those are a lot of snacks, but we shall only be taking a couple of days. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, this wardrobe is not the best. We did have more space last year when we went to Scarborough. But, well, I just that's how we're going to have to cope for four nights. And then this is just my suitcase and my grandpa's sugar-free cookies and sweets. And then we have a really nice big desk here, which is really handy for putting all of our stuff on. So we have a nice lamp here and... I think it's like a free view Samsung TV, so that's good to have in case we want to watch it in the, in the evening. And I've made like a whole drinks and fruit bar, so I'm going to show you that. So I've got, we've got some diet lemonade, we've got plenty of water, we've got some big waters as well, which will be good for like if we're doing a day trip. Uh, we've got some Rubicons, this is, uh, we've got some glasses, which are my grandma and grandpa's for drinks. And I brought my own because I knew they'd only have two, which is actually full of lemonade at the minute. And then like a fruit bar here. So we have pears in this one. You can sort of see them. Next greens in this one. We have some tomatoes in this one. And this one, I believe, is plums. You can sort of see in there. Oh, and we have some more tomatoes here. A lot of tomatoes. But we do like tomatoes, don't we? We do indeed. We do, definitely. Um, and then we also have like a hygiene section here. I mean, well, sun cream's not really for hygiene, but we've got some sun cream. We've got some flash wipes, which will be good for, well, wiping any surfaces we need to. Dettol wipes, which I already wiped down some of the things in the hotel room. Got some anti-back wipes. Got some little sanitizers, tissues. Um, and then these are in case I get a headache. So, cowpole. And then 
Excuse the frozen tin, but in here's just plasters and antiseptic wipes. I'm not really into frozen anymore, but I was when I was younger. And then here we, of course, have what my grandma and grandpa will love, the tea and coffee station. Yes. yes. Indeed. So we have a kettle and we just have lots of milk, tea bags, and um, some Nescafe coffee and sugars and stuff, and cups and spoons. We also have a TV remote for the TV. And I also brought a big box of tissues in case we need those in the hotel room. Then under the desk we have just a bin, which is literally already full and we've only been here an hour, haven't we? We have. <laughs> so full of Dettol wipes and Starbucks drinks and all that. Um, and then on the chair we have uh, my grandma's cap. I really like this. It's from Maui in Hawaii, isn't it? It's really nice, that cap. It is, yes. Yeah. And her beach bag and some trousers. And then here, oh, we just have some hotel information there. It's like the breakfast menu. And then coming over to here, we just have our bags, basically, from that are, I think, pretty much empty. Those had, like, towels and stuff in. This had the fruit and Rubicon. My rucksack which has the tickets for activities in it and my purse in there which has 20 pounds in it and this is like a beach stuff for the beach swimsuits trunks for my grandpa um my grandma's camera some towels some deck chair pegs and then we have this random thing here i'm not actually sure if it's off the sofa i think because this is actually a sofa bed so um the empty spare pillow bag and then we have the massive double bed is it comfy well, it seems, isn't it? Yeah, so hopefully... Yeah. Well, yes, because we've only arrived like an hour ago. So they're just doing their newspapers and then on their pillows have some pyjamas. I love my grandma's pyjamas. They're just so nice. I think you brought these to Scarborough last year, I remember, on the room tour. So she's got elephant pyjamas and little elephants with blowing love hearts out of its trunk. And then my grandpa has shorts and a T-shirt. And... They just have some things on the bedside table, drinks, loads of biscuits, cream, comb, stuff like that. Oh, my grandma's handbag and beach bag down there. There's some nice paintings up here. And I think this is to work the fan. So, uh, this well, I think thing. I've it all. Yeah. And then, on my, mine and my grandpa, I've, I've it here, we are sharing a bedside table. So, we've got some drinks, my grandpa's tablets, my phone. Got this actually, it's pretty cool. Um, it's like a little fan in case it gets hot in the night and it doesn't make too much noise, so it shouldn't wake others up. And we also have this foldable clock, which is really cool. And then this is my bed. Just a single bed, my pyjamas, teddies, um, nose cloths, um, and my pillows. So that is the bed. And then the window still, I just have a couple of items. I have my sunglasses, some hats. These are two piece for the arcade. My GoPro, which I'm filming off right now, and my Cali case for underwater for phones. So that is basically the room. I'm now going to show you the bathroom. So, oh, it's flickering with the light on. I'll show you without the light on. So, in here, we've just got some towels for after showers and baths. Obviously, got the bath. And a pretty large shower head, actually, which I'm really pleased about because I don't like tiny shower heads. Bath mat. Um, <laughs> I wrote shower products on here. I've got a shower cap, hair turban, a flannel and sponge. Then we've got all of our bits over here, like shampoo, conditioner, body wash. They did give us some hair and body gel, then, which we can also use. And then coming over here, we have the sink. And they did give us some soap, but my grandma also brought some Carex soap, so we'll probably use this so we don't have to waste theirs. Our toiletries bag, my grandpa's, mine, my grandma's, toothbrush, some, I think it's air freshener. And we've got a little bin, uh, toilet flush, and uh, toilet roll. Lost my words for a second. And then behind here, the hand towel was actually on here, but we decided to put the main towels there and have the hand towel behind the door, because it's just a bit easier. And yeah, that is basically the bathroom, so that's really nice. So I'm now going to ask my grandparents what they think of the hotel and what they rate out of 10. So I'm going to go first. So to be honest, it wasn't as good as last year at Scarborough because I think I would rate this as 6 out of 10 because it's a nice room. The beds are really comfy, so are the pillows and nice space and everything. But I have to say the wardrobe is quite small for the three of us. Now this is what you probably want for like one person. And obviously we, have a, we need a shelf for the snacks and everything. So... Yeah, we haven't we haven't got that much stuff, but 
Yeah, so it, I think it's nice, but a 6 out of 10 because there's not much space to put your clothes. What do you think, Grandma? What would you rate the room out of 10 and what do you think? 6 at the most because there's not a place to hang anything. Things are getting left. Having, Scrambled everywhere. Having to be left in, in the, the case. Uh, as you can tell over so there. It's... it's not as good as last year. No. So it wasn't what we'd hoped. When we came in, we were thinking, oh, the wardrobe is quite large, but it, it isn't. No, it's, it's not. It's just got two shelves and a drawer. So, yeah. What do you rate the room out of 10 and what do you think about it? I think the same. It's nowhere to... I, I've had to leave some of my stuff in the case. A lot of your stuff, actually. There's nowhere to hang it. There literally isn't so there. So I, I would say six, yes. 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 And at the most. At the most. At the most. Yeah, it's a nice room, but it's quite a big room. But they could have filled up the space. We could have had half a desk, a smaller desk and a bigger wardrobe, but that would be good. Certainly would. Because we don't need that big a desk, obviously. And then we've got quite a nice view, actually. Well, it's not too bad. It's showing you a nice sea view. It's better than last year at Scarborough. We had a blank wall, didn't we? Yeah, we did. <laughs> but now we're actually overlooking the city here at Great Yarmouth. And, oh, I forgot to show you these, you guys. So also under here... I have a crate and it's just full of my puzzle books and entertainment for the car. And this bag's just full of bags that we use for, you know, when we like to put things in here. So, yeah, the view is not too bad at all. I mean, it is a car park, but you can see some of the city. Unfortunately, the window doesn't open, which is a bit annoying because obviously in the night it is going to be quite hot. So, anyway... I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below and hit the bell. And, yeah, we're really looking forward to our great Yarmouth. I will be filming some other videos. And, yeah, so I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Say bye. 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 Smile.